It's Melanie or Shisha Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the super cool collection from Pink Fresh Studios. So I was super excited because this is kind of, for me, it's kind of a boyish themed collection and they had it on sale one day, really cheap. And so I ended up getting it and the only papers that were available were the six by six paper sheet. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed in them. They are all really busy. Um, and I wasn't really sure how to use them. So I am going to be using these four and I add a fifth sheet from the six by six paper pad, um, to the layout. I am going to kind of stagger them like this. I decided to change those two because I felt like I wanted kind of a, more solid pattern at the top there for whatever reason not that the stripes are that solid but um i felt like the words were too busy up at the top so once i kind of get these taped down i'm going to try to embellish and i'm not gonna lie this is not my favorite layout I absolutely love the photo that I use and don't feel like the layout did it justice. Um, so I would love your opinion at the end, maybe on ways to fix it. I feel like the layout's really busy for the photo. So I guess at the end, let me know what you feel. Um, if you feel like there's a way that I could fix it because the photo here is absolutely hilarious. We were in a shop and he decided to put on an alligator hat, funny glasses, and had a toy gun and just looked hilarious. Um, the shop owner actually took a picture of him as well and asked <laughs> if they could use it on either, I don't remember if what it was, their social media or their website, whatever it was, <laughs> because it was just so funny and so cute so my title is silly boy these alphas actually came i think it was almost like I, you got a pack of the collection for cheap and i think the alphas came with the pack there's actually two different there's this light blue and then there was a smaller white alpha too so i decided because i have a white background and some of these papers are white i decided to Kind of trace the outline of the papers with black um to see if that would help pop i can't remember maybe laura alberts does it i don't remember which creator does it but it might be her um so i figured i would try it and on this layout again i just think it's so so <laughs> so there are a lot of great embellishments that kind of fit with the photo so on the bottom left there, there's the one that says live out loud. And then the little green one says never a dull moment. And I just thought those were perfect. Um, cause truly with my two kids, there is never a dull moment. They are silly, crazy, fun. Um, and so I thought that was perfect. And then the live out loud, you know, he, I'm sure this will change as he gets older, but he's going to be himself. He's going <laughs> to, I don't know live out loud i guess so i just thought that was really cute at the title there i decided to add kind of two puffy stickers there's a star to the right of the title and then the little arrow which i think it's supposed to be like a play sign like play like on a dvd player or whatever but i decided to flip it and so the arrow points down um and i feel like in doing so it makes it so it doesn't look like it's supposed to say play um the top left there i added a smaller cluster that kind of little tag that says hilarious a puffy uh camera i think it's puffy and then just a kind of a blank um i almost I'll, i guess i'll call it like a journaling tag almost um the circle tag there as kind of a base as well and to kind of finish off my group of three so here's where I add the fifth piece of six by six paper. Um, I decide to kind of 
make a strip to the left there because I did feel like it was too white um, on the left hand side of the page and so I snuck this in underneath and then had to kind of trace around that kind of busy paper on top since I had done it already um, going back so this I've had this done for a little while now and for whatever reason on the left hand side those papers do not want to stick I've even added more tape and they still are not they're like curling at the edges I think once I get them in um, page protectors it'll be better uh, but right now it's I don't know curling and <laughs> I don't know I guess I could like tape it and then maybe put like a thick book on it to make it lay flat but I decided I wanted to fill in that upper left hand space a little bit be better so I just shifted over the title a little bit and I felt like I liked that a lot better one last thing is this bottom left just looked really plain or the bottom right sorry um, and so I decided to uh, use the strip of that pink and make it into a tag so it came out of the photo and then that just allowed me to use that as a base for another kind of embellishment cluster so I guess when I say that it's busy not only are the photos busy but there were so many good phrases that I feel like I used a lot of words on this page as well so I decided to use this make today count um, kind of I think it's acetate piece and I'm gonna glue that down and kind of make that into um, a cluster as well so there is a circle again kind of the same color so again one of those kind of like plain circles I just feel like it makes a good base for a good plain base for a cluster so I use that and then find this puffy um, arrow that says so cool so I'm playing around with that but didn't like the two phrases so I move the arrow up and then find another kind of round sticker that's that same play sign but again I point it down um, and tuck it in underneath the tag as well um, and just that is going to finish it off that was a quick ending sorry about that I must have cut it off but that's gonna finish it off let me know your thoughts let me know if you think it's too busy for the photo what you would change what you would do I appreciate all your guys's comments and help um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.